once again good morning good afternoon and good evening so i was getting a message that user are trying to flash the extreme rom 2.6.1 which is currently latest and it, they are having a boot tube on the mobile phone after flashing the rom well i flashed the extreme rom let me show the about phone so this is s10 5g model number is g977 n let me go to software information so this is Extreme ROM One UI version 7.0 Android 15, Beastman version provided and build number if you can see that Extreme ROM 2.6.1 beyond uh, X is the code name of the mobile phone. So the thing is that uh, this is the old mobile phone but it is good that this mobile phone will get One UI 7 and we can take benefits the Galaxy AI. Yes, we are getting Galaxy AI with this ROM and on the S10 5G. Now, those who are having issues flashing the ROM and the phone is uh, like going to the boot loop, watch the further video how to get the One UI 7.0 Android 15 ROM on the Galaxy S10 5G, which is the latest one currently, Extreme ROM Nexus 2.6.1. Getting help from my videos, do not forget to like the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon, click the select all. Thank you. So these are the files that I have downloaded on my computer hard drive. The Odin 3.14.1, the Extreme ROM Official 2.6.1 for the Beyond X, which is uh, Galaxy S10 5G Exynos and the Extreme ROM Nexus TWRP Odin Pack for the G977 version 2 and the kernel file this is actually the fix file to fix the boot loop like after flashing the rom yes i tried also flashing flashing the extreme rom 2.6.1 on my mobile phone s10 5g and yes my mobile phone was also having a same situation boot loop situation then i got the fix file and i flash it and mobile phone got booted links are provided in my video description click the link and download the files after downloading extract the 3.14.1 the odin in same folder i already did that you can see the extracted folder of the odin 3.14.1 then double click to open the extracted folder of the odin then double click the odin file to open it click ok on this pop-up window then on odin click any slot i will go for the ap slot then go to the downloaded folder where you have downloaded the files and double click to select the extreme rom nexus g977 twrp origin pack must check that it's it is version 2 right double click to select the file coming back towards the mobile phone well i already got this rom the latest one which is coming with the kernel su next support i mean to say that this rom is actually pre-rooted right and uh, for flashing the rom you need to check few things first of all you must have an unlock boot loader well uh, the messages that I got is actually they were having the earliest version of the extreme ROM. So definitely you will be having an unlock bootloader, right? If you are not having an unlock bootloader, then must unlock the bootloader first, then flash the ROM. Check the mobile phone battery. It is supposed to be charged. If the battery is below 30%, then charge it. Save all the internet storage data. Otherwise, the data will get formatted. Tap lock screen and turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe. Using Samsung account, sync it then must remove it. Using Google account, sync it then must remove it otherwise we will get issues. Your mobile phone is supposed to have a latest stock firmware in case if you are flashing the first time this custom ROM, the mobile phone is actually supposed to be on Android 12. If the phone is having a uh, oldest uh, firmware then you need to update the mobile phone but I hope that all the S10 5G will be on the latest stock firmware. Now simply power off the mobile phone. Now those who have uh, earliest version of the extreme ROM, if they are not having the Odin Pack version 2, then you need to flash the Odin Pack version 2 first, then flash the latest ROM, the 2.6.1 version. Always use a good quality of data cable. 
and check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer now let me tell you that this is the old mobile phone which may maybe have a buttons issues well my mobile phone having this bixby button a little bit issue that is why i am saying this that you need to check the buttons and you need to press the buttons properly to make the device to boot into desire mode right now we have to boot the phone into odin mode for that press and hold the volume down key big speak key press both buttons properly then connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds you will see a warning screen release both keys okay my phone got the warning screen now press the volume up key once to boot the phone into odin mode Yes, I got the Odin mode screen. This is the Odin mode screen of my mobile phone. The phone booted into Odin mode connected already with the computer. On my computer screen, Odin already detected the mobile phone because I installed the Samsung Android USB driver. Link provided. If you are not having it, then download the file and install it on your Windows. On the Odin, click options and tick the auto reboot. Go back to lock. Then click start to start flushing the origin pack file. After flushing, definitely you will see pass message here. Then exit the origin. Then go back to the downloaded folder. The mobile phone still booted into origin mode. Yes, because I untick the auto reboot. Now we have to boot the phone into custom recovery from the origin mode screen. Check the data cable must be connected. Make sure to press all the buttons properly. Otherwise, the mobile will not boot to the desired mode. Now, like I want to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery (TWRP) from the Odin mode. For booting the mobile phone from the Odin mode to the custom recovery, we have to press all the four buttons: power key, volume up key, volume down key, and big speak key. Right? I will try to do that by holding the mobile phone like in this angle. Then I will press the volume up key, volume down key, big speak key, and power key. I will try make I will make sure to press all the buttons properly because my mobile phone is actually having issue with the big speak key, right? Okay, one, two, three. I will start the procedure, pressing all the four keys at same time. When mobile phone restart, I will release the volume down key first. Okay, done. Now I will wait when mobile phone shows Samsung logo. Then I will release the power key. Okay. Now I will release the other rest two keys when mobile phone boots into TWRP. Okay. I will release the other rest two key. The phone will boot into TWRP. If the mobile phone is not going to boot to TWRP, like uh, holding the Volume up key, big speak key. It will vibrates, which means that mobile phone is going to start booting to the ROM. You can finally you can see that a TWRP screen appears on my mobile phone. Let me clean the screen a little bit. Okay, good. Okay, swipe to allow modifications. Right then, first we have to format the data by tapping wipe. Tap format data type Y E S and tap here. When done, then go back, go back once again, and then swipe to factory reset. Also, when done, then go back to the main screen, tap reboot, and tap recovery. Swipe to allow modifications. Yes, I got the internal storage on my computer screen. Now I will go back to my downloaded folder and I will copy these two files: the Extreme ROM Official 2.6.1 and the Extreme Kernel Nexus S10 Beyond X Unofficial, whatever it is. Copy these two files from the computer hard drive. Then go to the internal storage of the mobile phone. And paste both files on the internal storage of the mobile phone. The copying will take a time. We have to wait here. So I got both files on my internal storage of the mobile phone. Right now I am done from the computer. Coming back towards the mobile phone. First, I will disconnect the data cable from the mobile phone. Then I will 
unlock the TWRP screen by pressing the power button then swipe to unlock then first thing I will do to tap settings then we'll go to the third menu and to make the screen time out to maximum right then go back it is time to start flushing the ROM file tap install we have to flash the extreme rom official 2.6.1 do not by mistake flash the fixed file first right we have to flash the uh, the extreme rom official first by tapping on it to select the file then swipe to start flashing it now it will show the message that uh, do format data after flushing yes i already did that press the volume up key once to start flushing the rom it will take a time here we have to wait script succeeded rom got flash then go back and uh, flash the in a fixed file by tapping on it to select the file then swipe to start flashing it okay done now simply tap reboot system the mobile phone will stay on the samsung galaxy logo for a while then it will start booting to the extreme rom 2.6.1 which is actually one ui 7.0 android 15 the first boot may take a little time. Well, well, well. The One UI 7.0 of the Extreme ROM 2.6.1 welcome screen got appears on my mobile phone. Finally, I will complete the setup screen. After selecting the language, we have to select the country. In case if the country is not in this provided list, you can go any country like your neighbor country, whatever. I will go with the United Kingdom. Then restart the mobile phone. Continue completing the setup screen. So finally, the latest version of the Extreme ROM Nexus 2.6.1 got it on my mobile phone. Well, I will go to settings. Let me change the phones. Okay, much better. Then I will go to about phone. So this is the same mobile phone Galaxy S10 5G. Model number is G977N. This is actually a Korea variant, right? And uh, tapping the software information. So I got the Extreme ROM One UI 7.0 in white 15. Google Play system update, it should be update. Bisbin version provided, kernel version. And the build number is, you can see that Extreme ROM Nexus 2.6.1 for the Beyond X, right? So the ROM got flash smoothly and perfectly. Well, I was having a boot loop issue before I was trying, but thanks to the developer or to someone who finally got the fix and to provide the fix for this ROM, to get this on the S10 5G. Do not forget to like the video. Thank you so much. Take a good care of yourself. We'll see you in my next video. And one more thing, as I said before that, uh, this is a pre-rooted ROM. If you want to make the device certified, if you want to get the strong integrity, watch my another video, link provided in my video description. Bye-bye.